Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kyle from Too Much Bricks, and welcome back. So, today, I'm going to be reviewing all six of my, um, Lego Disney minifigures that I've collected from the blind bags. Um, I've only gotten six, as I said, so far. Some you might remember from me reviewing them on my cousin's channel, but I've collected more since then, so I thought I'd review them on mine. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I thought I'd start off with, um black and white Mickey Mouse or Steamboat Willie. Um, no accessories will be reviewed in this session because I think that once I get them all I might do like all of them together and, the, and review their accessories and have a big nice long video. So today I'll just review the minifigures themselves. Um, I love this figure. Um, as you guys know or um, don't that this was um, already a mold that was released in the Lego movie Disney or uh, Lego Disney Castle and um, the hat um, is new, but that just connects to the top of his head into that peg, and I think it looks really good. Um, just a regular black torso, um, amazing leg printing because if you notice, there's not dual molded legs. You got three um, different um, colors. You got white up here, black stripe, and then a very you can see the difference, like a much whiter. Then over here, almost like grayish white on the bottom, and it's a bit a bit different than the um, other white. But overall, no printing on the back. And on the back of the legs, it looks like they're dual molded boots. But you look at the side. I really like that transition right there. But putting his hat back on, that's him as a whole. And yeah, so that was Steamboat Willie. Next up is Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I've, act I've never actually watched this movie, um, so I don't know much about him, but I can um, tell you about the printing, which I think, in my opinion, is awesome. I love the stripes. Um, just And on the side of the legs, there's even stripes, so that that's amazing. And um, I, when, The thing I love about the packs is you get so, many, so much printing that's not normal on a regular minifigure. It's got the nice little torn cape on the bottom. No printing on the back. A really nice chest plate. Looks like bats. I love the face, obviously. You can use that for a, a custom figure. And yeah, just as a whole, I think he's awesome. Next up is Frozone. Yeah! So uh, I love this guy. I mean, I love the Incredibles in general, so um, getting him is really awesome. Um, I know we've gotten him before, but he, this is new, I believe, for the facial... Um, um, expression, um, he's smiling, he's got his goatee, his goggles, and just the blue and white matches up really nice. I love the dual molded legs, dual molded, um, arms as well for the blue and the white, and same on the bottom for the legs. And overall, I really like them. Um, the only thing that I kind of wish is that, um, they had done the, um, more printing on the back of the head instead of just a regular white mask, maybe like the... A continuation because of like you got so much good detail all over the place then just a like white on the back I don't know that just bugs me a little bit but otherwise I think this size is an amazing figure so out of all the ones that I've gotten before I got this next one he was my favorite but I gotta admit obviously Edna Mode is my favorite um, she's just awesome when I when I saw her I was like that I want her <laughs> because I love her I can impersonate her I just, I, I, beyond love this character in the Incredibles movies. Knockups! Um, so, she's just awesome. Um, she's got the nice glasses. Um, this is all one mold. Let me take it off. Just the hair. You know, and then, um, it doesn't actually magnify the eyes, though. I wish that, ha that would be cool, though. Um, you know, just regular eyes underneath the big smile. And the not-so-satisfied face. I think that captures her... Um, how she normally is good, but I, making her look like her character in the in the movie, I think that smile just captured it really nice. The blue and black torso, which is accurate to the Incredibles 2 movie, and then just regular black legs. I really wish they had given them. They did this with Chip and Dale in the in this line, the movable short legs that they've come out with now. They just gave her the regular ones, which um, we've gotten for so long. Um, and I, I know that that would have been really cool to um, have for Edna because I've never actually even gotten those short moving legs before. Um, 
yeah, so that that's really it for Edna. I mean, she just got she's just amazing. Really like that new mold. And uh, next up is Anna, which I think is an awesome figure. She's got a winking face, which is a cool face that I've never gotten before me personally. Um, just I love the hair. The braids come down over the shoulders. It's a nice um, flower printing. I would have liked to see some printing on the arms, maybe like some cuffs of flowers and stuff. Um, I did want to point out um, for her and Elsa, these are the new types of dress pieces, not the regular bricks we've gotten for Vitruvius in the Lego movie um, or in some other people's or the Queen that we've gotten with the regular brick and stuff. But um, it's it's more sh curved now and it just it looks really nice. Um, more printing on the vest on the bottom. I'll take everything off in a minute. This is a regular soft spongy cape. That um, is not the hard uh, papery one. It's just some more detail on the back. So taking everything off. Again, the hair piece is all one. These things are rubbery. They're not just a hard plastic. There's her regular happy face. And taking everything off. The cape, I like to point out, is just one hold. You don't have to line up the two holes like you'd normally have to. Um, but um, as you can see, nice flower printing. And... Uh, yeah, that's really it for Anna. So putting the cape back on, it does have these nice pads that come over down on over the shoulders, but by just putting the head on, these kind of stick up a little bit. So these coming over the shoulder, press it down a little bit. You see that? And that just overall makes a really nice figure. Last, but certainly not least, her sister, Elsa. Now, she has a lot more printing than her, um, than Anna, but, um, I kind of like Anna's hairpiece a little bit better, but, um, I do like this one, I like how it, I especially like the transition right there, I think that's just beautiful, with the, the texture and the molding, the braid that comes down, if you want to use a non-purist method and you're, and you're a customizer, you could color the hair red and leave this braid, um, the way it is, just blonde like this, and I think that would be good for a custom Black Widow figure, um, or you could just put it on like this before the five-year span. Spoiler, sorry. Um, nice, beautiful printing for the arms. I really love that. Um, if I can get it just right in the light, perfect. More printing, obviously. I think it's just beautiful. Um, I also love the printing on her, on her torso. More printing for the skirt. Again, it's the same skirt piece that we've gotten for Anna. Um, the cape is one hold. Um, but it is not the softer one because we got some beautiful snowflake detail, um, on it. So it's the papery kind of one. And, uh, yeah, let me take everything off for you. This is the hair piece by itself. Again, it's not just a hard plastic. It's rubbery. can move. She's got a winking face and a share of herself face. Let me take that off. Take the cape off. The cape is beautiful in my opinion. I really, I really love that. And uh, just as a whole, I think she has some beautiful texture and printing all around. And she was just an amazing figure, in my opinion. So let me go ahead and put the cape back on. And the the thing tells you to put it on the... Oh, what's it called? I guess the, um, the chart tells you to put it on this way. You could also put the snowflake printing on the on this outside so you see it better. But I like viewing her from the front and seeing all that printing just line up as a whole. If I could put her hair back on, and her head, and that is Anna, or Elsa, ugh, I always get those two mixed up, and that is it for my collection so far of the Lego movie, or Lego Disney characters, um, from the blind bags, um, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I, I hope you really found this helpful, and go subscribe to my cousin's channel, Anthony the Lego Man, if you haven't, also, keep in mind, my 25 subscriber special will be my Atlantis mock, if you guys have been around when I announced that the first time. I'm at 23 at the moment, so thank you all, my friends, and everyone who have subscribed and got me this far. Thank you so much. I also, when I did my 20 subscriber special, mentioned about my LEGO City updates. Don't you worry, those will be coming very soon. Uh, again, I've got a lot going on at the moment. Um... I just got, I got to finish up Wakanda Wednesday, and then my announcement on Wednesday for my new mock starting up. And after those two are finished out, I'll start doing my LEGO City updates and also other mocks, but not as big as the ones I'm doing at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's really it.
Thank you for watching, and as always, keep building.